Hey everybody, it's Sam here again with 3D Printing Canada. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. I've got a few things in front of me. First and foremost, I've got proof that algorithms work. So I went looking for some games online that I would be able to 3D print, and sure enough, the wonderful world of the internet threw one back at me. So today, I have prepared a game called Tetra Balance. It's gonna be another fun one where you guys are probably gonna to get to watch me fail epically at it, but let's see how it goes. So, in order to do Tetra Balance, there are actually quite a few STL files that go into it. There are nine individual files that you need to do. So first, you're going to need to print yourself the little stand. This is what you actually use as the very base of the game. After that, they've got the Tetra Balance base block. This is what we're actually going to build on. It's this wonderful semicircle with the tooth pattern. And that is about where it stops being easy, if I'm being perfectly honest. Because after that, then we have to get into the individual blocks that we printed. So they have included seven different Tetra Tetris themed blocks to be able to print. So block one is a T block. I'm sure all of us Tetris players recognize this one. And as you're playing, the goal is to stack these blocks onto the base. You and your opponent take turns and you see how well you can do with it. So after the T block, the next one is, I interpreted this as the J block from Tetris, or the backwards L, depends which one you want to call it. I did try and match the original Tetris colors as best I can. I played a lot of it as a kid, as I'm sure a lot of us did. So we'll see. I used to be pretty good at the digital game. Maybe I'll be good at this one. Next, we've got our wonderful little Z block, which I might be holding backwards for you guys, which everybody recognizes in the red. All right, three blocks in and I lost, but I'm gonna keep going through the blocks for you guys, so we'll pretend that didn't happen. So we're just gonna go ahead and try and place this somewhere else and see if I can maybe get it to stand up so we can keep going through the blocks. Let's go for somewhere in the middle. All right. In case anybody hasn't figured out yet, balance, not my strong suit. Not real life balance, not game balance. The kids are gonna kick my butt at this one too. I am very sure of it. So next is the green one. I interpreted this as the S block because they didn't have one and I needed one. So let's see how this goes. Maybe I can, haha, -ha. I'm just gonna try and build in the middle. We'll see if building in the middle will work for me. Um, after that, we've got what Tetris players call the O block. I always called it the blocky block. Oh, okay, let's try this side. I failed really badly on the last side, so. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, what I just did there is officially cheating, but we're gonna pretend like it's not because my poor videographer only wants to put up with so much of my stuff going wrong. There. Okay, after that one, we get the wonderful teal eye block. And we'll see if I can get that to actually balance out for me again. Look at that. And we are down to the last block in the set, which is the wonderful L block. This used to be my favorite block when I was playing. I thought it was the most useful and I'm looking at it now. <sighs> I know there's only one place that it can go. So I'm just going to go for it. didn't fall over. Maybe it is the lucky block. So I went ahead and went absolutely crazy. I printed 14 of each of the colored blocks, which means I have a set here that is big enough for between two and seven players to go through and take turns. This set is coming with me to games night on Saturday and me and my girlfriends are gonna have lots of fun watching this stuff fall all over the place. I also went ahead and made sure that we had a proper instruction manual to go with it. So we've got a link to this in the video description. It's a PDF of the instructions where you've got all of your basic instructions as well as a couple of ways to make it more challenging, which I mean, I don't think I need, but maybe some of you are gonna be really good at the game and need a bit more of a challenge. So 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have lots of fun playing Tetris. Make sure that you post lots of pictures of yourselves doing it. Go ahead, like, share, comment, all of the wonderful social media things, and we will see you guys next time.